Hello, my name is Colin Bogart. I'm the Education Director for the Los Angeles County Bicycle Coalition. Today, along with First 5 LA, we're at the 2014 Los Angeles River Ride, where we are sharing safe riding tips with parents, guardians, and kids. And for those of you who couldn't join us, we want to share those tips with you. First, putting on your helmet. You'd be surprised how much kids learn from watching you, so it's extra important for parents to model proper bicycle safety and wear a helmet. A helmet should sit on top of the head in a level position and should not rock forward, backward, or side to side. The helmet straps must always be buckled, but not too tightly. Eyes check. Position the helmet on your head. Look up and you should see the bottom of the helmet. The rim should be one to two finger widths above the eyebrows. The helmet should cover the forehead. Ears check. Make sure the straps of the helmet form a V under your ears when buckled. The strap should be snug, but comfortable. Mouth check. Open your mouth as wide as you can. You should feel the helmet hug your head. If not, tighten those straps and make sure the buckle is flat against your skin. Next, bike fit and bike check. When choosing a bike, stand over it to make sure it's the right fit for you. As a minimum, there should be about one inch of space between your body and the top two. For beginners and small children, you should be able to touch both feet to the ground while sitting on the saddle. Before you start out on a ride, check your bicycles to make sure they are ready and safe to ride. This is the ABC bike check. A is for air. Be sure to check your tires to make sure they have enough air. You may do this by squeezing on the tire. It should feel firm and not soft. Also, check for thorns or glass in the tire and remove them. B is for brakes. If you have hand brakes, squeeze the brake levers to make sure they don't touch the handlebar and make sure the brake pads touch the rims and not the tire or the spokes. Also, check brake pads to make sure they are not worn out. If you have coaster brakes, which you activate by pedaling backward, test them quickly to make sure they stop your bike. C is for chain. Check the chain to make sure it's rust-free, properly lubed, and that it moves easily through the drivetrain. Single-speed bike chains should be fairly taut. Be sure that all screws, nuts, and bolts on the bike are tightened. You are almost ready to ride. There are many things to teach your child about riding a bike, and safety is key. Traffic rules are important in keeping you safe. If you see a red light or a stop sign, always stop. Yellow means caution, and green means go, but only if it's clear. Parents, practice yielding, passing, and keep an eye on traffic. Children under 10 should ride on the sidewalk and cross streets as a pedestrian. If they ride in the street, it should be with you to guide them. Teach children the hand signals they should use to alert drivers to their actions. Left turn. Extend your left arm out straight from your side. Right turn. Extend your left arm out from your side bent at a 90 degree angle at the elbow, hand pointing upward and the palm of your hand facing forward. Or extend your right arm straight out from your side. Bike control skills. To start your kids riding, have them ride in a straight line. You can do this by having them practice on a painted line in a parking lot, a school playground, or on the sidewalk in front of your home. They need to learn to maintain a straight line to ride with others and to ride with traffic as they get older. Practice riding in a figure eight, which helps them build their skill at controlling their bike and introduces the concept of being aware and yielding to others. Riding on the street should always be supervised by an adult. Remind them that driveways, sidewalks, and crosswalks are potential danger zones. If riding on the sidewalk, they should always stop at corners and walk their bikes while crossing the street. Starting and stopping. Children should practice starting and stopping over and over again until it seems easy to them. They should start with one pedal at two o'clock, which they push down to get going. Stopping should be done by using the brakes, not by dragging one or both feet on the ground. Whether riding with adult family members or with friends, learning basic bicycle safety may help prevent injuries and prepare you for a lifetime of safe bicycling. For more information and for a free download of the Family Bicycling Guide, visit first5la.org or la-bike.org.